Hey everybody, what's going on? Oh, I meant to prop up my hey everybody pillow. I keep it on my bed. Hey everybody and hello. And we've got the disco ball going in the hand. Now that might drop at any minute because it keeps falling off the wall all of a sudden. Really? Anyway, I wanted to come on and talk about a few weird things for a minute. Well, not weird, but f first of all, this is news you can use. So first, let me set the scene. I'm getting ready for bed, in case you can't tell. And I just washed my face, which is why it's a little rosy. I'm about to put on my favorite mask, and I sleep in it. You're really not, it does, it's not a sleeping mask, but I sleep in it, and it's, I didn't get it off Timu. I don't know where I got it. It's Frank Body. Um, what does that say? <laughs> oh no, where are my glasses? Oh, for Pete's sake. It's Frank Body Glow Mask and it's caffeinated, which doesn't make much sense to put on before you go to sleep, but I sleep in it. And when I wake up, my face is very plump and my skin feels fresh and new and soft and I really like it. So let's put this on while we talk about stuff. So I wanted to talk to you about a few people asked, you know, how did Timu find your channel and ask you to be an influencer. If you're on the app or even on the website, just go just in the search bar field, uh, type in influencer program and it'll take you right to a page where you can get an affiliate code and there's a link where you can, I believe that's how I found it. There's a link where you can apply to be an influence, no matter how big your channel. I mean, look at my small channel that only has 2000, well, almost 3000. Thank you subscribers. And they gave me a $40 allowance, but there are a bunch of rules. I'm a little scared. I'm going to break some, you guys. You guys know we've just been freewheeling it over here. Looks like my ro rosacea face is flaring up a little bit. It'll calm down. Um, we've been a little loosey-goosey over here, and I mean, they're serious. So when you, so for me, when I applied to be an influencer, an influencer, they said, we'll let you know within a week. I got back a form kind of email that said, thanks for applying. We'll, let, we'll review your channel and let you know within a week if we've accepted you or not. And then I got an email within faster than that, I think within about three or four days that said, okay, you know, here's a little, well, it didn't say this, but just to summarize it, it basically said, okay, click this link and learn about being our influencer or whatever. And so on my link, it had a big $40 on it that said, this is your allowance, pick a campaign below. And it had a bunch of different campaigns, like you could pick Barbie core, and just pick all Barbie type stuff, or you could pick um, all makeup, or you could pick all, I don't know if I'm allowed to be telling you this, but oops. Um, or you could pick all lightning deals or things Timu doesn't want you to know. Like type in the search term bulk sale seven I think is one of them, which obviously they want you to know that or it wouldn't be an influencer campaign. Or you could pick different categories like kitchen gadgets or whatever. And I just picked toys because, you know, I'm a kid at heart and hell yeah, I wanted to spend 40 bucks on toys because I thought, look, I can knock out two birds with one stone. I can do this Timu. Do I have enough of this on? I can do this Timu 
sponsored thing and I can also gr grab some stuff from my nieces. Where did I just put that stuff? I feel like I don't have enough of this stuff on. Do I need to put more on? Anyway, so I picked toys and then I clicked join the campaign. So I joined the campaign and they gave me, it looked like a regular Timu screen full of products. And Oh, there goes my light. Yeah, you knocked it over. Clover is sitting here with me quietly for a change. Clover, be very careful. Okay, set it up. Everything's propped up on my bed, if you can believe that. Even this tripod. But as you can see, it's a little tricky. So then you join the campaign, and it gives you kind of like a regular shopping screen, except it's all toys, and it shows your 40 bucks at the bottom. And then every time you click click something you know it subtracts from your your allowance so and the toys are pretty pricey so I really think I only picked eight things for forty dollars which really wasn't very smart of me I should have gone with lightning deals or something where I could be like look I got a hundred things for forty dollars or something but I don't I don't want to do that everybody's doing that I wanted to do toys because Christmas is coming and I wanted to pick out some things that I know my nieces would like, or if they don't like it, you know, I would. But there's a bunch of rules on that campaign. Like you have to say, they give you a big paragraph of stuff that you have to say in your description. And then they tell you that they will send you a list of the products and the links that you have to, of course, post in your description, which is fine. I've wanted to do that anyway, but you guys know with the number of things that I order, that's crazy. Like, yeah, I would be up all night trying to find the links and the whatever. I'd rather in my non-sponsored videos just say, if you see something you like, let me know in comments and I will get you the link as quickly as possible, which I have been doing. If I haven't, let me know. Um, if you've requested something and I haven't gotten you the link, let me know and I'll get it. Because I try to check my comments regularly. But anyway, so they tell you that they'll send you a list that they want you to put of the products and the links in your description. And you have to put different and you have to write things a certain way. And I'm going to be pretty nervous, to be honest, that just that I get that damn description box correct and then you get scored after you post your video you get scored on how many comments your video gets how many likes your video gets and how many people at least click through to your links to even to just look at the products they don't necessarily have to buy although you do get points if people click through to your product and buy it but also, you have to put your affiliate, your, um, I have in every one of these videos in my description, a link where if you don't have the app, you can click my link and download it. And I get five bucks and you get 30 to 50% off your first order. And then also there's a code that I don't, I at this point, I don't know. The code used to get new people 30% off, but now it's 50% off, and now it's a pack of $100 coupons. So I don't even understand what the code does. And now, first you put the code in the promo code, but now it says to tell your people to put my code in your search term. I don't understand it. I'm already really confused. But I know that once I post my sponsored video, I'll get scored on how many comments, how many likes, and how many clicks and all of that stuff. And if I get enough or if it makes them happy, they'll let me do it again. So that's kind of like the behind the scenes thing. It's really, to me, it's really stressful. Like, it's very stressful. I see a lot of people who are regularly sponsored by Timu, and they don't seem that stressed out about it. So, I'm going to try to start with yes 
and not if you caught my Dollar Tree haul and maybe not overthink it. But it seems complicated to me, but maybe I'm just slow. But also, since I put my email in my for business inquiries only section of this YouTube channel, I've gotten a lot of sketchy emails from companies. And the latest one that I got, you would not believe, where is my iPhone? So the latest one I got was from these this guy and he's like, we'd like you to really promote. He said, we were wondering if you'd like to collab with us. Would you promote our iPhone 13 and 14 cover? He's, and then he showed it. He said, here's a picture of it below. And it was just a silicone cover like the one I have on my phone right now. It was just a clear silicone cover. And I was looking at it going... How in the world would I make this exciting on my channel? <laughs> like, I was thinking about it, and I was thinking, what would I say about it? But I emailed him back, and, and he said, if you do a video about our iPhone cover, you can keep the cover, and we'll give you 20 bucks. And I was just kind of thinking, well, I mean, I don't know. I could certainly do some kind of collab with these people and talk about how you can get their silicone cover and it'll show off the back of your phone or I have no idea, but I was, and I said, and so I emailed him back and I said, well, tell me again. No, I emailed him back and I said, do you have a website? Because he just wrote this email and signed his name and I'm kind of like, well, what is this company? Do they have integrity? Do they have like a better business bureau score? Do they have more products than just this one silicone phone cover or what the hell? You know, so I emailed him back and I said, hey, name, do you have a website I could look at? And he said, no, we sell our phone cover on Amazon. And he said, here's how it works. You send us your bank account information and we will transfer $20 into your bank. And then you use that to buy our iPhone on Amazon, uh, to buy our iPhone cover on Amazon. And I'm kind of like, okay, whatever, dude, shut up. Get out of here with your trying to get my bank account. And then I told you already in my other video about this woman with these gorgeous, gorgeous replica handbags, and she sent me links of them, and she said, please pick one to promote on your channel, and we will send it to you, and all we ask is a five-minute video for you to show off our bags on your channel, and you can keep the bag, and they were really good knockoffs, and I found their website. They had a legit website and I looked on YouTube and a few people had done videos about them, but they only had like 230 views per video and things. They were like really small. So, but I thought, okay, well, there are people on YouTube doing videos about this company and they have a legit website and whatever. So I emailed her back and I said, yeah, sure. I'd love to talk about this Chanel replica that you have. And she emailed back and said, I might not have that one in stock. Could you pick another one? And I said, okay, I like this Gucci Balenciaga collab bag. How about that one? And she said, okay. She said, what we'll do first is send you pictures of every part of the bag to make sure they meet your standards. And then if they do, We'll send you the bag. And I was kind of like, okay, but I already am looking at the pictures on your site and they they look good. The pattern is consistent all the way around. Like the stitching is good. The hardware is good. Like there are little things that I look for in replicas. And I didn't even know if that was legal, actually. Part of me in the back of my head was thinking, is it legal to even promote knock off designer bags like this? I don't think it is. But I told her, well, the photos on your website look fine. You know, just send me the bag. I'll do a video about it. 
And she said, okay, I need your WhatsApp first. And I'm like, well, I don't have WhatsApp. And she said, well, can you get WhatsApp? And I said, I, I, why don't, why do you need my what, WhatsApp? And she said, because I might need to get a hold of you really quickly. And I said, well, if you need to get a hold of me really quickly, just text me. And that's the one regret that I have is that we went through all these emails and these bags and all this stuff and their website looked fine and they had other people doing their videos. So, you know, I already gave her my address to send the bag. And then I said, go ahead and just text me. Here's my number. Just text me. And she goes, no, if you don't have, you know, you need a WhatsApp. And I said, well, I don't have a WhatsApp. And then I never heard from her again. And since then, a few of you have said that's a common scammers thing. I, well, how is that? Can you send money on WhatsApp or something? Was she going to try to get my money or I don't know. Who knows? But you get some weird emails on that if you put your email in your for business inquiries only, you'll get some sketchy, sketchy emails. Okay, I think that's all I really wanted to talk about in 16 minutes. I wanted to talk about how I became a, a Timu influencer, meaning I just went to that page on their website and filled out a form and they said, okay, and I wanted to talk about what it was kind of like, like the, the rules and stuff that they wanted me to follow, that I hope I follow correctly. And I wanted to talk about the scammy kind of weird emails I've gotten to from other weird little strange companies. But anyway, that's about it. I think my mask has dried well, no, it's a little puffy, but I don't think it dries completely, but I just sleep in it. All right, so good night, everybody. If you listen, thanks for listening. I just thought we'd have a little bathrobe chat before I go to bed. Clover is sitting here really calmly, and um, she's getting a little... Oh, sorry, okay, I just wanted to pet her. She's getting a little bit, she's asleep right here where I'm pet. You can see my arm moving, I'm petting her head. She's gotten a little bit better today. She spent the day sleeping in my cat Felix's bed, but she didn't cry as much today. And my mom did say maybe you should go get a kitten to keep her occupied, but I, I don't think that would work. I think that if I did that, we would be paying so much attention to getting the little kitten acclimated to our house that she would feel even more left out. So right now we're just going to see if she slowly gets over it. And this weekend for me was a complete failure, you guys. For the first time in I don't know when, I didn't have a clean sheet day. I never got around to changing the sheets on this gigantic bed. I was too tired and I feel like a failure. And I also want to put, organize a lot of this stuff that I bought recently and put it in its proper places because it's kind of all in bags. I didn't get that done. And I didn't get, I didn't get much done. I slept a lot because she was crying all night. So I slept a lot during the day. And that's about it, you guys. My weekend was kind of total fail. And now I'm in that Get ready for work mode, lay out your clothes, get the shower ready to jump in it tomorrow morning, and clean towels in the shower and all of this stuff and mask on my face and beauty sleep and getting ready for it. I usually go to bed about nine o'clock on Sunday nights just to get over the shock of getting up at five in the morning on Mondays. So we getting ready for that. Clover and I are chilling. All right, so I hope you guys have a nice night. I hope you sleep well. Thanks for coming to my bathrobe chat. And if you have any questions that I haven't answered about, if you can't find it, I typed in influencer program in search bar, and that's how I found it. Um, um, and I think that's, that's all. And, or when I first started to get my affiliate link and code, 
I just typed in affiliate in the search bar. And if you just want to get like a link to give your friends and say, download this Timu app, it's really cool. You can put affiliate in, in the search bar. They'll give you a, an affiliate link. You give it to your friends and say, because if they compliment you on something, you say, I got it off this really cool app called Timu. And they'll probably go, oh, I saw that on Instagram or whatever. And then you tell them how cool it is or whatever and give them your link. And every time they download the app using your link, you do get $5. And when you get up to $20, you can, you can transfer it to your PayPal. So all I need is one more person to download the app using my link and I can transfer 20 bucks to my PayPal. So the link is down below in the description if you feel generous. And that's it. So that's all I have to say. Okay, good night. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being new to my channel. If you're new to my channel and I, according to my notifications, I should have a Timu haul tomorrow night. I have to work until about seven o'clock, but I'll try to do it when I get home from work, or if not, I'll do it Tuesday, depending on how wiped out I am. All right. Good night, everybody. How do I stop this thing? Put it right here. Okay. Good night.